And now, San Diego Connect. A recent study says that over $5 billion is at risk globally from cybersecurity threats. And as everybody probably knows by now, online fraud and scams can hit very close to home. Joining us with more on this growing problem is Travis Harrell, the Vice President of IT at California Coast Credit Union. Great to have you here, Travis. What are some of the most common online threats that you see? Thanks, Heather. You can expect online threats to come from just about every direction. Online shopping, email, social media, and remote working, just to name a few. Online shopping is more popular now than ever before, so be skeptical. Look out for fake retail sites where deals look too good to be true. Double check URLs provided in inline ads, but it's better to visit the retailers directly on your own. So watch out for links as well. You can be installing malware or spyware. In addition, social media, everybody's on it. And it's common that it's easy to let your guard down. Don't share personal information that fraudsters can scoop up and use to piece together your personal data or profile. Change your login credentials often. Don't use the same ones that you use for other websites and online activities. And consider using phrases rather than passwords. And so many of us are working from home right now. How does that present a threat? It presents a pretty big challenge. Often when you're working from home, you're, you'll connect to your work emails and systems through a virtual private network, AKA VPN, that your company has set up. With the latest scams, cyber criminals will call or email you and pretend to be someone from your IT department and make up a reason to ask for your login credentials. Once they have those, they have access to your company's network or email systems and they can do a lot of damage. So what can you recommend people do to keep themselves safe? Well, if you do receive an email or phone call asking you to visit an unknown site or if the request is from someone you don't recognize, contact your manager or an IT department and ask about the legitimacy. If it's legitimate, your company will know about it. If your company hasn't done so already, now is a great time to set up a special code word or phrase to quickly verify information and never give your password out over the phone. Your IT department will never ask you to do that. Such important information. Travis, thank you so much. For more information, visit calcoastcu.org.